to two groups in this country, patriots and traitors. No middle ground. Disinformation is not simply lies or falsifications. It is the art of having your enemies say what you want them to say. Who would engage in espionage on Twitter? Who would be that stupid? Not me. It's very important to educate people about these techniques. They have the Great Reset, we have the Great Awakening. Another type of active measure is the agent of influence. And why shouldn't I root for Russia, because which I am? You know, it's very hard for journalists to accept that this has been going on. What do you get your opinions from, TV? Disinformation is actually a deliberately distorted or manipulated information that is uh, leaked into the communication system of the opponent with the expectation that it would be accepted as genuine information and uh, influence either the decision-making process, for example, or to influence or manipulate public opinion. I want to see these people go through misery because of their grooming against our children. Some questions remain unanswered. What is the effect of all these active measures? I did nothing wrong. Welcome to a premium episode of the Did Nothing Wrong podcast, where we cut through the noise and help you make sense of the chaotic information space around us. I'm Griff Somke. And I'm Jay McKenzie. On this premium episode of the Did Nothing Wrong podcast, we're joined by journalist Robert Silverman to discuss the latest indictment of former President Donald Trump. We also discussed a disturbing trend towards campaigns signaling their support for Nazis, and we preview the upcoming rehash of Pizzagate. Stick around. Well, it's been a day on the far right. Their fearless leader got indicted. Destroying an innocent man. Destroying an innocent man. You can you can say it. Absolutely. Don't cuck on me. <laughs> and the patriots on the far right have declared total <laughs> war because this innocent man is being persecuted by the, the deep state and the evil Biden Justice Department. So it's very much a wailing and gnashing of teeth going on over on that side of things they're they're quite upset mike thernovic has had some great takes oh god it's a rule for me that i try not i try at least i'm trying not these days to dunk quote tweet on these dinguses especially even with the screenshot because it is just part of their advertising But I think Mike is cribbing some dialogue from the Punisher War Journal in the midst of all this. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes. I'm going to read it out loud because I want to do his prose justice. And (laughs) I I don't want to I don't want to paraphrase here. It's it's really something. And I'll read it in my in my best Frank Castle voice, which is really just a bad Batman voice. But (laughs) (laughs) okay, each night before bed. You must imagine what the enemy will do to destroy you. How he will kill you in your sleep. When you wake up alive, gratitude for breath, then planning. (laughs) If you're not fighting battles with these stakes, you won't understand. The city will reach up and ask me to save them. And I will reply... No. It really is a Rorschach voice. <laughs> it's more of a it's right, it's Rorschach. It's Rorschach, man. Yeah. It's but it's great. It's, it's absolutely a dead great Rorschach. And that's, I think, where we're at with these guys right now. They are just absolutely losing the plot between the grift and the are we really mad about this kind of stuff and they're just in some seriously unhinged territories. You know, Tim Poole is calling for a civil war. Oh well, I just I just had to look at Cernovich's page because he he retweeted Prague Dad. <laughs> that's, I was like, that's how low they're going today. Oh, I'm Pro- sorry, that's that's Doctor Owen Linehan. Oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He gets real mad when you remind him of the fact that he once portrayed this alt right. <laughs> anti-Semite character. He gets really mad when people point that out. So never ever call mm. Dr. Owen Linehan prog dad. It was just a joke. It was just it was all a, a joke. joke. Who are these groipers? Dr. Linehan has never created kill lists for Adam Waffen. Never. No one, be- that's that's libelous and anyone who suggests as much uh-huh. should be we should... immediately threatened with a serious lawsuit. Absolutely. There is just no, no truth to that whatsoever. No veracity to the idea that he ever created a kill list for Adam Waffen. 
Tim Pool calls for civil war or says civil war is happening or says civil we have been in a civil war or we're in a uh-huh. civil it's his mantra mm-hmm. you know there's, Ravi there's, Shankar taught it to him I think <laughs> there's another he he retweeted Hans Mankey yeah who is that guy I don't know I don't know but <laughs> here's what's great about this the tweet is Jack Smith Trump had quote a right like every American to speak publicly about the election and even to claim falsely that there had been outcome determinative fraud during the election that he had won, unquote. Also, Smith, Trump made false claims. That's his sole basis for indicting. Uh, yeah, the, the thing that I find notable here is that the man Hans Mankey, his book is titled Swift Boating America. That is the literal title of his book. <laughs> That's a strong take from former Toronto Blue Jays closer Tom Henke here. <laughs> I didn't realize he'd swung so far to the right after he uh, left baseball. Well, we all know about Kurt Schilling, so I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything's I'm possible. Waiting, personally, I'm waiting to hear from Dwayne Ward, but that's... <laughs> If we're getting into Blue Jays talk. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing they're really upset about is that the judge that's handling this case, uh, Tanya Chetkin, who is apparently an Obama appointee, she has sentenced January 6th defendants to longer sentences than the government recommended. And now she's the judge in the President Trump J6 indictment. And, oh, are they mad about that? Is she a person of color? Mm-hmm. I'm not a lawyer. Mm-hmm. To my mother's everlasting dismay. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's, so yes, go ahead. <laughs> but uh, I, I think the point is, yes, you can, in fact, as president, you do have the right to say things that are false. Yeah. No one denies this. Yeah. What you cannot do is combine those false statements with actions intending to overturn the results of the election. I think there are more pages in this indictment that they haven't gotten to yet, possibly. Right. Again, do not come to the firm of Silverman, Silverman, <laughs> and McCormick for any legal advice. <laughs> but oh, wow. from Hungadinga, 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 and McCormick, do not come to us for any legal <laughs> advice. But that's, that's I think, the, the case that's being made. I keep waiting for... Southpaw to start tweeting about it, but he's pretty much moved over to Blue Sky. So I'm gonna I gotta look at what he is saying about this, and maybe a good old Charles Starr get some Twitter takes on this. But mm. I think we maybe it's okay to wait for an actual lawyer to blog something so we can determine take a look at possibly the strength or weakness of the government's case and not rely on again former Blue Jays closer Tom Hankey. Absolutely. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Let's see what else they're saying. Free speech has been indicted. Mm-hmm. I mean. That sounds serious. I don't know how they're going to put it on the stand, but... Yeah, yeah. It'll be something to see. Free speech up there on the stand and, you know, old Jack Smith, the corrupt deep state prosecutor, grilling it. Jesse Kelly, the the ginormous Christian fascist and, and general, like, creepy Sociopath, weirdo. like, self-admitted yeah. psychopath. Self-admitted psychopath with a healthy relationship to his kids. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is sort of is getting really black pilled is what i saw and again it really is rorschach war journal talk where he's like yes the normies have to, have to learn and they'll learn when they see the image of their leader in jail that's when the normies will wake up from their slumber norm time to wake up norm he really refers to them as norm at one point which i thought was a delightful time. norm oh. norm, norm the normie okay the normies yeah uh-huh. he goes but he's going to jail no doubt about about it. He's, he's doing hard time. The problem with my Rorschach War Journal voice is that it slowly slips into Sergeant Hatred from the Venture Brothers very quickly. <laughs> and it just goes like, I'm trying to do the War Journal, but then he's just a big, friendly guy. He wants, to, <laughs> he wants to hug everybody. Oh, legal scholar Jonathan Turley. He, uh-oh. When I take a red pen through the indictment that is protected by the First Amendment... It reduces to a haiku. Many of the things that are being charged here are protected speech. My God, man. I, I, <laughs> he, is, he is in a race with Alan Dershowitz to just, just bend even lower at the feet of the Donald. Yeah, uh, and, and again, I can't, I, I, whenever I see his name, and it's clearly because I'm sports-brained, but whenever I see his name, I think of the Saints offensive tackle. 
who had to retire early because of too many concussions, <laughs> which, you know, it might be the same guy. I'm not sure. One way or the other, Silverman is going to make this about sports, okay? <laughs> it's just what he does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and the one guy who absolutely just completely sunk his chances to ever be the Republican nominee for president out of all of this, it looks like we can finally pull the plug on the Mike Pence campaign. Does the Veep have a statement here? The Veep has had a statement about this. Please share it with the Yes, group. Mike Pence statement on latest Trump indictment. Mike Pence today issued the following statement in the news of former President Trump's indictment. Today's indictment serves as an important reminder. Anybody who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. I will have more to say about the government's case after reviewing the indictment. The former president is entitled to the presumption of innocence, but with this indictment, his candidacy means more talk about January 6th and more distractions. And then he has to get this in here. As Americans, his candidacy means less attention paid to Joe Biden's disastrous economic policies affecting millions across the United States and the pattern of corruption with Hunter. He was well, doing great for I know. so much of that. I know, I know. Did you see the indictment states that Pence kept contemporaneous notes? He did. <laughs> he did. He did. <laughs> Mike Pence uh, found his courage, just not the way that Trump wanted. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was a pretty good, hey, good, you know, I think we have to hand it to Mike for One thing. making sense mm-hmm. and being right for at least three sentences. Yeah, three out of four paragraphs were okay. He did a pretty good job. Yeah. Three out of four paragraphs. That's- you got to grade these guys on a curve, and that was mm-hmm. solid for most of it. That's fair. That's fair. Of course, if you search right now on the hashtag Judas. <laughs> yeah. You have been listening to a sample of a premium episode of the Did Nothing Wrong podcast. For just five bucks a month, you'll get access to this episode, as well as a new one every week and our entire library of premium episodes. Head on over to didnothingwrongpod.com slash subscribe to sign up today. Thanks again for your support. We couldn't do it without you.